You ready, Hannah? Yep. All right. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Hannah Green. How are you today? <laughs> it's uh, the day before the KPMG Women's PGA Championship kicks off here with our 2019 champion, Hannah Green. Hannah, you've gotten to see the course here at Congressional a couple times. How do you think this test is going to set up for this major week? Yeah, it's going to be hard. It's a long course. Um, I think I've overheard maybe 6,800. Um, but again, we're getting forecasted rain, so perhaps they'll push it forward. But it's a long, a long course. It's a tough course. You really have to pick where you miss it because you are going to miss hit shots out here. It's just that hard. So I'm really looking forward to it. I came here a couple of weeks ago and played some rounds, so I feel like I'm ready. So I'm excited to get going. So you're one of the ones who has come in having seen this place before. Is that something you try to do, get out to places you haven't played before to get a scout a Saudi visit? Yeah, I mean, it, I've probably done it more so for this event than any of the other majors, just because it works in my schedule. Um, I don't think I can play five events in a row well, so I decided to take ShopRite off and was in the area, so decided to come here and play. So I don't want to put too much extra pressure on myself, but I thought this was a good golf course to come and see and play socially. <laughs> what are some of your takeaways? I mean, we know since the U.S. Open was here, and certainly there's been a big redesign, but were some, what are some of the holes that really stood out to you that you think might be good for you or, or might be good turning points for the championship? Yeah, I think uh, 15 is probably one of the toughest holes, I guess, because the shot is uh, blind for your second. So I think that's a hole where if you make four every day, you're probably going to be gaining against the field. So I think just making sure that you don't leak too many shots, don't make too big too bigger numbers because it is quite easy to do that around here. Um, it's pretty generous off the fairways, but the bunk is a little pretty penal. Um, it's hard to get it onto the green, but um, I'm just really looking forward to it. Uh, it's a very different vibe to what we had for our US Open this year. I feel like it's kind of like a US Open with being long and thick rough, so I'm excited. Excited and certainly excited from the big news from yesterday of KPMG and PGA of America stepping up to double this purse to nine million. It was still a life changing number when you won at Hazel T National, but this is an even bigger opportunity now for, for the women on tour. What were your thoughts when you saw that news? Oh, it was amazing. I mean, all of us were in the clubhouse eating lunch when I heard the news, so we were all just talking about it, and we're not surprised. You know, KPMG and the PGA of America have been so great. Um, elevating this championship and like you said three years ago um, just to see how much money they've put into it for us and even just not necessarily the money we play for but even just how we get treated the venues that we're playing so we're really excited to be here and hopefully it's a good showcase for this tournament. I'll ask one more question before opening it up to questions if you have any over there let me know. Um, it's a good time for Australian golf. You're playing well. Uh, Minji with the two wins this year in the U.S. Women's Open win. This, uh, this event certainly with, with Kari having won it. Um, how is it with, with Australian golf right now with you uh, carrying the banner for a, for a great development program? Yeah, um, we're very fortunate that, that we've had such a great association um, help us as an amateur and it's really nice to see that yeah, Minji, myself, Sue, Steph, all the girls on tour who've been through the program are out here playing on tour and um, I quite often get asked how many Australians are on tour so I hope that number keeps increasing and that there's more out here but um, I think this is a good golf course because ball striking is important and I feel like most of us Australians are pretty good at that so I'd love to see any Australian lift the trophy this week but hopefully I can. <laughs> I understand go Aussie. All right we'll go over here to Jean. Yeah. Hannah th this course obviously is property so it's said plenty of men's men's majors what does it mean for the growth of the women's game that the best in the LPGA here this week? Yeah I think it's great that we're the first uh, to play the new design of the golf course um, obviously Rory won here in 2011 but um, we've never had the opportunity to play that course and I never got to see it. So um, it's nice. I think the course is quite long and probably set up for the men, but I think it actually will suit us. I think all the bunkers are going to come and play and it'll be a true test for everyone. So it's great that we're here first. And you mentioned you were here not that long ago to play it. Have yeah. you been in DC before? Or how many times have you visited the nation's capital before that? This is my first time and I only spent time in Bethesda. So I didn't actually get to spend any time in DC. So tomorrow I have an early tea time. So I hope that I can go go near the White House, maybe go to a couple of museums and actually experience what DC is. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Let me go behind me to Juan. Mm -hmm. So you were saying, I mean, the course is playing long, but I mean, there's a lot of run with the ball, no? So it looks like the key is really very much around the greens. So yeah. How hard are you working on your short game this week? Yeah, I think that's kind of what's been letting me down is my short game. So I feel like 
the last few weeks, that's kind of what I've been working on a little bit harder. So um, the greens are quite slow, but I don't think they can make them any quicker because of the severity of the slope. So I think getting used to that is going to be one of the challenges. I, I wouldn't be surprised if you see girls miss putts uh, short. But um, yeah, around the greens, just miss hitting it in the right areas, leaving yourself the easiest chip shot. I think um, you'll see the best players do that. And that's probably who will come on, out on top this week. Which, which I, I guess is, is a matter of creativity most yep. of this week, no? Yeah. And so how many shots do you have around the greens? Or how many different shots do you practice around the greens? Yeah, I mean, you've got to be practicing out of the rough and you also got to be able to um, hit it off the new sod. It's quite tight. Um, it's quite easy for if you just slightly mishit it for that mishit to show even more. Um, a couple of shots today um, when I short-sided myself, I felt like it was easier for me to hit it low versus trying to hit it high. So... I quite like playing that shot. I'd rather, I think it's more of a percentage shot um, and more, one I'm more comfortable with. So you definitely have to have good imag imagination uh, with your approach shot in and then also around the greens. Mm -hmm. yep. Do you have anything further for Hannah? Okay. So you've, you've seen the course. You're getting ready. How excited are you to, uh, to tee it up with a whole big paycheck on the line? Yeah, I know. It's amazing. Like, I was talking to Suo, who's obviously my great friend, um, and we were saying, like, don't be surprised if KPMG uh, increases the purse. So it's great to see um, that it's doubled compared to what they said at the start of the year. So I think everyone's just really excited to be here in such an iconic venue. So we're all just ready to go. Love it. Juan behind me does have one more. Mm -hmm. So we've been talking about the night paycheck and kind of the trend of, of I mean, value in women's gold more and more, yep. putting more money into it. Mm -hmm. So if you have to kind of have a vision of what's going to happen in the next majors and in the next years. Mm -hmm. What do you think it could be? How, what do you think the LPGA or the majors would look like? Yeah, I mean, I, I hope I'm still out here for another five to six years and I wouldn't be surprised if it's up to 15 million. And I think that's a great purse. Um, I think compared to what it was four or five years ago, you, we probably wouldn't have thought it got to that. Um, but I hope also other tournaments, not just majors, want to invest in women's golf as well. And I, I think that's going to happen. With that and and I think it's a conversation this year too. We have this tournament. We have Murfield coming up. Mm -hmm. Is it a matter of increasing all the purses, or is it a matter of bringing the men and the women closer together? Yeah. Look, I think we the majors we play for great money. Um, the top ten in the world players, you know, they're going to be comfortable once they finish their their season and their career. But um, I think so long as the majors keep pushing, other events are going to want to continue to do that. And um, you know, it, it's a big headline for us getting these purses. So I think other other sponsors will want to follow that and get, you know, their name out there as well. Okay. Thank you. Thanks so much, Hannah. Have a great week. Thank you.